Hey, Nuri. Hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? Mm, very busy, very hard. Really? <laughs> yes, my back hurt. Oh, okay. And you, teacher? Uh, pretty good, a little busy, but, but pretty good. Always oh. a lot of activity, a lot of work. Oh, yes. My day is usually is usually very full. <laughs> I usually have a very very long and busy day. Ah, uh, okay, mm -hmm. but survival. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Surviving. That, I think it's typical. Mm -hmm. Typical, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. I think in El Salvador, everybody has a lot of activities. Yes, I think so. Mm -hmm. Between the work, Hello, the family, evening. the different things. Yes. And you, uh, why why today was so difficult? Well, I I work hard. My my day is always busy, busy. Okay. So it's the normal work. Uh, some days is, is less, mm -hmm. but um, all mm -hmm. the time I work uh, is done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You work? Uh, parada. Standing? Mm -hmm. Standing. Uh, why standing? Because mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I have to. Mm -hmm. Well, when when I make a, a nails, can can stay sit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But only only when I make nails. Only when you make nails, nails. Okay, but when you do the yeah, hair, well, everything, no, everything has to be standing, right? Yes, <laughs> standing. Yes, I imagine it's a long day because you are standing a lot. Yes, a lot. Nuri, where is your beauty salon? Or beauty, yes, beauty salon. Yes. <laughs> yes, I work in a mall. In a mall? In a where? mall, yes. In the oldest Colón, here, the oldest Colón. In the <laughs> It's so far. Yes, you it, need a haircut. I, I need nails. Nails. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Alexander. Hello, Ivania. How are you? <laughs> I, I, I watched you. <laughs> yes, how are you? Good, good. And how are you? Good? Yes, okay. I feel better today. Better than... <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <Perfect. laughs> yeah. And Nuri, it's in uh, Unicentral, Lourdes? Uh, no, no, it's Pasatiempo. Uh, ah, Pasatiempo, yes, the other one, no, near, near Las Arboledas, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, all right, good. Well, guys, I am so happy that you are here today. Nuri is telling us a little bit about her day and her job. And that's the first thing we're going to start off with. The first thing we're going to start off with is services or things that you have. So, for example, internet, uh, haircuts, salon, things that you don't like. What are things that make you mad? If you remember yesterday, we saw many expressions to describe when we don't feel good about something, when we don't like something. Okay. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. It's in the WhatsApp group, but in case you didn't see it in the WhatsApp group, also it's here in the class, right? These are the same things that we have in the WhatsApp group. These are the expressions, the expressions that ah, you don't like, that make you angry or bother you, 
those are the ones that we want to use. So we're going to use or talk to our partners about the things they don't like in a supermarket or maybe in the salon or the dentist or the doctor's office, the airport, the hotel. For me, all of the topics, but what makes you upset? Okay. Mm -hmm. So okay. for example, for me, the thing that bothers me in a restaurant, or I can say the thing that drives me crazy in a restaurant is when the waiter asks you, what would you like to drink? And you say, and they say, ah, yeah, but we don't have that. <laughs> when they say, what would you like to drink? And you say, a soda. I acabo, se la debemos. Oh. And, and then I say, okay, ¿y qué tienen? Oh, only, only coffee. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> All right. So go ahead, go with your okay. partners, and we're okay. going to try to use those expressions. You ready? Okay. Okay. Sure. So, yes. All okay. right. Let's make our groups okay. and talk about the different things that annoy us or bother us.
All right. Welcome back. I'm glad you had a chance to talk. Tell me a little bit, what things upset you? What things you don't like about different things like uh, the movies, the supermarket, the banks, restaurants, different things? Tell me. Uh, we talk with uh, Omi. Omi uh, told us, hey, uh, he says, I bore me when on the bus, the, the, the crow bus, people, for example, talk about the, or, or say something bad word about the, the people. Or sometimes on the bus, the uh, people touch uh, women or, or men. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yes, Ivania, yes, Ivania. <laughs> yes, I know that is true, happened, but Alex? I don't what like happened? it too. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. <laughs> yes, it's, 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 it, unfortunately, it's a common thing in El Salvador that it, it happens to many young women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, good. Anybody else? Something that bothered you? Something that upset you? Yes, uh, Marvin and Jose were talking about the traffic. You know, the, the traffic here in El Salvador is, uh, is crazy. So we were talking about how we felt in the traffic when people is in the street, when their cars are uh, horned, the horn, you know, beep, beep. and you think thing like bad words, but you only say for you <laughs> mm -hmm. because if you say to the other people maybe it's a crazy people then they can fight with you or something like that so all these uh, kind of things are bothering us mm -hmm. in 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 El Salvador we have a lot of crazy drivers it's true in, yes, in the car they are very people. violent very violent and they want to violent. fight or hit you with the car if you are walking in the street mm -hmm. or something it's true Yes. yes. Uh -huh. But then out of the car, they are perfect citizens, very nice. I excuse me. Good morning. <laughs> it's like two different people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? Something that bothers you, annoys you? For, oh, for teacher. Example. Sorry. Oh, well, I talked to Floor. Mm -hmm. And she said uh, me that something that drives her crazy is uh, when she visited the supermarket and the prices increased a lot for things that she needs. And, and it's, this affects her, her pocket. Her budget. Yeah. Mm hmm it's true. And in El Salvador, it's amazing. For example, one week you go to the supermarket and the milk is $1.30. The next week is $2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we were talking about that with Roxana. And we, he, I was mentioning that the Super Selectos actually got a lawsuit for that because they had the same package, the same brand of milk, and uh, and it had different prices, like a dollar in difference or two dollars, not sure. And they got a lawsuit. You know, you know, yesterday I went to the, the Super Selectos, Santa Elena. It's a little the, the vegetable, tomatoes, potatoes, and the other vegetable is really, uh, it's a, um, eh? ah, se me olvidó caro. Oh, How do you expensive. Think expensive. Expensive. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Very expensive. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. yeah, really, really. It's one reason for buying McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Because the base of board are expensive. So we had to buy McDonald's. It's cheaper, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, and it's true. I think in general. Everybody is a little surprised by the different things, okay? Yeah, things make you suddenly the changes, right? Also, yes. maybe in your job, what is something in your job that you don't like? Something that drives you crazy, that makes you mad, that uh, gives you, uh, you know, makes your uh, blood boil. What, what are those things?
for example, when people, when a person doesn't accept the, the instructions or doesn't accept the, um, that, that the person is a mistake. Some people doesn't don't. make sense about that. I don't know why, but people don't accept yeah. their mistakes. Oh my God, that's bothering me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true. Some people say, no, no, no. And they, no, they it's make not the mistake, my mistake and they never accept. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Also, there are some people that don't accept feedback. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yes. The constructive criticism. Yeah. This you can improve. This is good. But they don't accept. They say, no, it's not true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you invent. I'm perfect. It's a lie. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Good. In this moment, we're going to go to 2.5. And we're going to do a listening exercise. So now on 2.5, we're going to listen. We have two listenings. The first listening is listen to Gabriel using an automated phone menu. Okay. And then we want to answer, is he successful or not? What happened? So the first one is just listen. And what is what happened in the situation? Then we're going to listen again. And we're going to answer the specific questions about part two. Okay? Okay. All right. Let's try. If this is correct, say yes. B. Listen to Gabriel using an automated phone menu. Is he successful? Check the best summary. Hello. Thank you for calling the Dial Right Pharmacy's automated phone message system. Please listen carefully to our menu options. If you are calling from a physician's office, say physician. If you need to speak to someone at the pharmacy, say pharmacist. If you are calling to refill a prescription and know your prescription number, say refill. If you wish to hear these options repeated, say repeat. Refill. Using our automated voice recognition system, please say your prescription number which is located in the upper right-hand corner in the pink shaded area. 04227-08837. I heard 04227-08837. If this is correct, please say yes. Yes. Now say the phone number where you can be reached in case the pharmacist has a question. 555-333-5123. Five, 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 three, 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 five, three. I heard 555-333-5123. Five, 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 three, 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 five, one, three. If this is correct, please say yes. Yes. Your refillable prescription will be ready by 8.15 a.m. If you would like to pick it up then, say yes. If you would like to pick it up later, please say later. Later. What time would you like to pick up your prescription? Uh, nine? I'm sorry, I can't understand you. I said nine. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. Nine. 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 I'm sorry, I can't understand you. Please call again later. Thank you for calling the Dial Right Pharmacy. Goodbye. Ah! Hmm. It's typical with the computers, right? Yes. Okay, so here we have three options. Which is the best option? Letter B. Letter B. Yes, letter, letter B. Letter B. Okay, good. Now, here, we're going to listen again. Now you have to listen for very specific information. What's the name of the store? Take notes. What is his prescription number? 
what is his phone number and what time does he want to pick up the prescription? So you need to listen for very specific information. Oops, I don't know what happened, but we'll try again. Okay, letter B and here. All right, you ready? Yes, sure. Yes, okay. Have a notebook yes. or in the computer, take notes because you need the name. Here is a lot of numbers, a lot of numbers, and then the time. Okay? Yes. Okay. Listen again and answer the questions. Hmm. I cannot listen. Yeah, it stopped. Hang on. Let me see in the other one. Um. Let me try loading it soon. Okay, let's try it one more time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Record the program. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have to stop. We have. We can yeah. Keep sorry talking about, about that. About I, 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 I wasn't sure. I, something with the internet. Okay. All right. Don't Let's worry try. About it. Okay, guys. Sorry. Here we go. Let's try it one more time. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Listen and answer the four questions. Hello, thank you for calling the Dial Right Pharmacy's automated phone message system. Please listen carefully to our menu options. If you are calling from a physician's office, say physician. If you need to speak to someone at the pharmacy, say pharmacist. If you are calling to refill a prescription and know your prescription number, say refill. If you wish to hear these options repeated, say repeat. Refill. Using our automated voice recognition system, please say your prescription number, Take which notes. is located in the upper right-hand corner in the pink shaded area. 04227-08837. I heard 04227. Zero, eight, eight, three, seven. If this is correct, please say yes. Yes. Now say the phone number where you can be reached in case the pharmacist has a question. Five, 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 three, 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 five, one, two, three. I heard five, 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 three, three. Three, five, one, two, three. If this is correct, please say yes. Yes. Your refillable prescription will be ready by 8.15 a.m. If you would like to pick it up then, say yes. If you would like to pick it up later, please say later. Later. What time would you like to pick up your prescription? Uh... Nine? I'm sorry, I can't understand you. I said nine. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. Nine, nine, nine. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. Please call again later. Thank you for calling the Dial Right Pharmacy. Goodbye. Uh, what was the name of the store? Dial right pharmacy. Ah, uh, pharmacy. Right, pharmacy. Dial right pharmacy. Okay. Right only. I think R uh, I T E. R I T 
T E. -E. Okay, the other, okay. Right. Well, we'll find mm -hmm. out. What is the prescription number? It's O four two two seven O eight eight three seven. O four two two seven eight three seven. No, no. Seven? No. Seven, seven. Double A. Uh, zero. Uh -huh. Four, two, two, seven, oh, eight, eight, three, seven. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. All right. All right. What about the phone number? What is the phone number? Five, 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 three, 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 five, one, two, three, two, three, three. Okay. And what time does he want to pick up the prescription? Nine. 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 <laughs> Nine. <laughs> There you go, nine. All right, let's take a look. Very good. Yes, I want to see the answer. Okay. Yes, so there are several dial rights. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh... You can have with capital letter, with period, no capital. All of those are correct. The phone oh. number. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, so in the phone number, you have to be careful. A uh high -huh, space. You, one is you need the space, and two, you need to write the sentence. So remember here, you have to write the sentence. His prescription number is, and then the number. Okay. 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 In the phone number, also, you need to make sure we separate 555, five, five, mm -hmm. then space 333, three, three, and then the phone number. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So make sure you have the hyphens. And the last one is, ah, look, it's not only mm -hmm. the number, is at nine o'clock. It's okay. necessary to put at nine o'clock. Oh. And be careful also here, in the second yeah. answer is the is same. prescription. Uh -huh. prescription. Again, with period. Remember the period. Mm -hmm. And here, no capital letter. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Only his phone number is and period, but no capital letter. Mm -hmm. If you want, take a screenshot. That way you have the correct answers when you do it, if you didn't do it right now. Okay, a screen. <laughs> yes? Yes. Okay. Also in the bottom, the same thing at nine o'clock. But with capital. Yeah. Any questions? Any question. Okay, go ahead. Hang on. Let me change this one then. Teacher, Perfect. you need to write two times because there are, there are there are two spaces for, for and the there, answer. Yes, and also you need to write it two different ways. So in the first way is one form, and the second is a different form. For example, the first one is dial right pharmacy, but in the second one is the complete sentence mm -hmm. and in part one and in part two. The difference in part one no period. In part two, yes, you need the period. The same for part in number three is you can use the complete sentence. His phone number is, okay, no period. But in part two, the same answer with period. Number four. 
We have to fill it, fill it both. Yes. Ah, okay. That's why I say is the easy way is take a screenshot if you didn't uh -huh. complete in this moment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because later you're going to look for it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. And also number four. Remember the screenshot? Number four. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Everybody's okay? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right, good. So then we continue on to 2.6. Here we're going to be using simple and complex indirect questions. Okay. Let's watch the video. It's and then we can understand a little bit better about the two differences. Welcome back. We have studied this topic before, but today we'll get deeper into it. Get ready. Simple and complex indirect questions. Simple indirect questions use a statement word order and begin with expressions such as I wonder, I would like to know, or I can't understand. Will I be able to get a taxi later? I wonder if I'll be able to get a taxi later. Complex indirect questions also use a statement word order. In addition, they begin and end with clauses or phrases with B. Will I be able to get into the class? My big concern is whether I'll be able to get into the class. How can anyone afford them? How anyone can afford them is beyond me. So if you look, the name is indirect questions, but in reality, you put like a sentence, only you use the expression, I wonder, I'd like to know, or I can't understand. This is the very common way to make indirect. The function of indirect is to be nicer or to be in a way that is not so, not so mean or direct. So indirect, you make like a sentence, but it's a question, okay? When we talk about simple indirect questions, we use a statement of word order. Instead of a direct question, will you help me? It changes to, you will help me. But of course, we need to add an expression to make it an indirect question. Some expressions may be, I wonder, I'd like to know, I can't understand, among many others. So let's add one expression to what we previously had. I'd like to know, you will help me. Notice we left a blank space. That is because we need to use if or whether because the direct question was a yes, no question. So this is the final simple indirect question. I'd like to know if, whether you will help me. Okay, so a question, will you help me? And you use it in a sentence. We change the order. Will and you change the order in a sentence. You will help me. And then all we need to do is put an expression at the beginning and add if or whether. Is that okay? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. As said on the chart, complex indirect questions also follow a statement word order, but they either begin or end with expressions or phrases with B. We want you to type some examples on our discussion box. Remember to put into practice what you have just learned. So we're going to try a little bit and we're going to practice making indirect. Okay. So okay. here in exercise 2.8, we have, for example, how can I get the tickets to sold out concerts? And I want to make it with the expression I want to find out. So remember, I use the expression and I put the question as a sentence. I want to find out and then how I can get 
tickets to the sold out concerts. What is the important change? The order, the auxiliary and the person is no question, is a mm -hmm. sentence. The sentence is, I can. The question is, can I? That's how you make indirect. You put them like a sentence, not like a question. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay. So we're going to try with our partners in 2.8. So 2.8, we're going to make our groups and try to make all of them correctly. One moment. There. On me. I will put you into the group. Oh, me, you okay? Omi, you okay?
Okay, Omni. Let's try one more time. You ready? Mommy? Oh, me, can you hear me? On me. Okay, homie, don't worry. Okay, were you able to complete it? Almost. Almost, okay, it's... let's try it together. Let's okay. try it together. Who wants to do number one? Uh, the number one, I have a doubt, but we have a, a, a answer, uh huh? I wonder will airlines ever stop Lucy Passion, I wonder if. I wonder oh, if. Hey, Roberto, you told me, Roberto, Jose Roberto, you told me. Okay. So the idea. Will, will ever. 
Yes. If you need airlines, to use will, right? Sorry. No, if. Will ever. Uh -huh. Will ever. ever. Uh -huh. Stop being in passengers. Uh -huh. And then the rest is the same. Okay. Remember, what do okay. we change? We change this auxiliary and subject. We change for if, subject if. and auxiliary. And you add if. And you add the if for the yes, no, exactly. Exactly. Here we have the beginning is I like to know the same. Mm -hmm. I like to know. Oh. Mm -hmm. What can we say? How I correct. How how I correct a mistake mm -hmm. on my phone bill. Okay, good. And then continue. What about number three? The thing I don't get is why I can use my cell phone in an elevator. Okay, elevator. exactly. The same why only change. Why I can't. Yeah. Why? And then put like a sentence. Mm -hmm. And then the, my cell phone in the elevator. Number four. And number four is I want I want to find out how I can get tickets to sold out concerts. Okay, good. Yeah. The same. Only change. I can mm -hmm. I to how I can. Mm -hmm. Good. And the rest the same. Number five. Number five is I would like to know when the government deal with global warming. So so when when the government the uh, government when will. the government deal uh, with yes, global the government warming. will correct government will and then the rest deal with global warming and the last one why people complain. So much is something I can't understand. Okay, here because we have at the end, right? That's what yeah. we need to organize, and then the last one. Why people complain so much is something I can't understand. There you go. Look. Exactly, exactly like you said. Take a screenshot, make sure you have it correct. That way you can see the important is, the lesson is put like a sentence, not like a question. Mm -hmm. The thing I don't get, I want to find out how it, exactly, exactly the same, but only we put like a sentence, not like a question. Okay. It's okay. Everybody took the screenshot. You put it yes. in, correct? Yes? Yes. Yes, thank you. Yes. Okay, good. So now you're going to use these expressions to tell your partner. It's not really a question. It's like an idea. You express your opinion. Ah, I wonder, I wonder why people like to work uh, at home. Okay, it's not a direct question. No, why do people like to work at home? Only I wonder is I is like I am speaking out loud. I am thinking out loud. Mm -hmm. A, I want to find out why El Salvador does not have a zoo. That's zoo? it. A zoo a for zoo. the animals, because, elephants. Because mm -hmm. we don't have animals. Hey. <laughs> now only in Furesa, right? All the animals in oh, Furesa. In Furesa, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we're going to practice. Use those expressions. Remember, not make the direct question. Use the expressions to make the questions. It's okay? Yes. Yes. All Just right. Teacher. Yes. Thank you.
Okay, guys. Great job. T-shirt. T-shirt. Yes. yes, yes. Okay. Great job. Super fast. The hour, it's already finished. Tomorrow, we're going to have the opportunity to practice more. The idea is tomorrow we finish unit two. And then on Thursday, tomorrow we'll finish unit two, review. And Thursday, the unit test. Remember, for unit one and two. So tomorrow, finish unit two, review, and then Thursday, the test. The test. Okay. okay. The test. The, All right, the guys. Test, really? Yeah, yes, really, really. The COVID, the COVID. <laughs> the COVID test. All right. Please tell me it is a joke. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Have a okay. good night. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.